everyone. My name is Cheryl Exak, and thank you for joining me on your mat today. Um, today's practice will be a all levels practice, but it will be challenging. Um, so it's very important to listen to your body, use your breath, be present here. I know it's not easy at times, but we're going to do our best to be present here on our mat. And if you have any blocks, props, um, shoe boxes, anything that you can place your hand on, um, keep it by your side. Okay, so we will begin and um, have fun, smile, and remember it's only yoga. They're only yoga poses, so do the best that you can. All right, let's get started. Find yourself in a comfortable seat on your mat. So allow your sit bones to connect to the earth. Bring your palms, your choice can be palms face up, opening up your hands and just let them gently close on their own. Or have your thumb and pointer come to touch. Or bring your palms to face down onto your thighs. Relax your shoulders, lengthen the spine, and then close your eyes. Give yourself a big inhale through your nose, Exhale through your mouth, let it go. Again, strong inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, let go of all you don't need. One more time, strong inhale through your nose, taking more air, even more, hold it there. And exhale, let everything go that you're holding on to. At the bottom of that exhale, begin to see the lips coming into your ujjayi breath, your ocean breath. Breathing in and out of your nose and the back of your throat, hearing that slight snoring sound. Just allow yourself to be here in this present moment for you. And as we're here, begin to check in with the sounds around you. Maybe starting with the sounds in a distance. Maybe checking in with the sounds that are, are even closer, maybe the music or what's in the room, your space around you. And again, checking in with the sound within yourself, sound of your breath. Your ujjayi breath is that audible breath. So listen clearly to that sound. Does your breath sound rigid, shallow? Maybe tough to inhale, challenging to exhale calmly. See if you can find an inhale for the count of one, two, three, four, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Again, inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale for four, three, two, one. So you can hear yourself going with the rhythm of that breath. And at the same time, as you inhale, begin to lengthen the spine upward through the crown of your head. And when you take that exhale, relax your shoulders, your arms, and just feel those sit bones sink down to your mat. So you can find your heart lifting. Feel your shoulder blades drawing together and down the back. Maybe feel that spine lengthen even more. So you can relax your face from your eyes to your cheeks, jaw, lips, and tongue. Maybe we find some tension in the hips, so relax your hips and your legs. We give some movement in the ankles and the toes. And just find that stillness here on your mat. And once again, listening to the sounds within. 
you listening to your body? What does your body need today on your mat? What does your body call for? Once again, listen to your breath. Maybe as we inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale for five, four, three, two, one. And a few more times, maybe you inhale even longer. Exhale, softer. Continue to have that clear mind and just focus on the here and now for you. And just bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Can you just have a dedication for your practice? Set your intentions. Please join me in the vibration of an ohm. Let's inhale. Aum. Just allowing your breath to guide you from now to the end of your practice, even when you leave your mat. So let me begin to open up your eyes. Inhale, reach those arms overhead. Take a nice long stretch. Reach up, open the arms, bend the elbows. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. And inhale, reach those arms up once again. Interlock your 10 fingers and just press your palms up. Feel the stretch here. Then take your gaze forward. Maybe move it to one side. Move it to the other side. Maybe take a circle all the way around. Going in the other direction. And release those hands, press the shoulders down. Change the crossing of the legs the other way. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, hands behind you, press your palms down. Let your feet press down, hips distance, finding your reverse tabletop. Take your gaze up or down the front part of your body but hold it here. Keep feeling your chest lift, your heart lift. Give yourself another inhale. On your exhale, keep pressing your palms down, drawing your sit bones back. Keep your sit bones lifting. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sit bones back. Again, inhale, lift. Keep pressing the heels down, heart lifts. Exhale, sit bones back. One more time, inhale, lift. Give yourself an exhale through your mouth. And then release your sit bones down. Navasana, bring the knees together, the feet together, arms out. You can hold the backs of your thighs or the fingertips down, lift your legs. Maybe flex your feet. Don't hold the breath. If you straighten your legs up, breathe. Maybe bring the arms up by the ears. Give yourself one more inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Press your ankles, just roll over those knees. Find your tabletop. So spread your fingers wide. Really feel the connection of your palms and the insides of the fingers to your mat. Few cat cows, inhale, arch, look up, tailbone up. Exhale, flatten out the feet, chin to your chest, round the back. Again, inhale, give yourself an arch. Exhale, round. Again, inhale, arch. Exhale, round, press the tops of the feet down. Inhale, find that arch, curl the toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your sit bones high. Inhale, forward to your plank, find that high push up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to your plank, hold it here. Breathe. So make sure the butt's not sticking up. Make sure we're not collapsing down. Right in between. So you can round out the upper back. 
Open up the shoulder blades. Feel your palms pressing the ground away. Relax your face. Press your shoulders away from the ears. If it's too much, bring your knees down. Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, knees down, child's pose. Sit bones to your heels. Reach those fingertips to the top of your mat. Inhale, back into your tabletop. Hovering tabletops, so lift your knees up. Take your gaze forward. So your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips are over your knees. Step that right foot back as if you're in a half plank and then bring that knee back. Step that left foot back and bring that knee back. Again, opposite, take the right, take the left. A few more times and left. Take the right, take the left. Take the right, take the left. This time, keep the right out, keep the left out. You're in your plank pose, hold it here. Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, knees down, elbows in, chest down. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your hands up off your mat. Feel the strength in your back lifting you, press those feet down. Don't hold the breath, feel your inhale. Feel your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press those palms and lift your chest. Hold it here. Shoulders don't go forward. Press them back, lift up. Lift your knees up. Press the shoulders down. Find one more inhale. On your exhale, knees down, child's pose. Bring yourself here whenever you need to. Listen to your body. Breathe. Inhale, back to your tabletop. Extending that right leg directly behind you. Press through your heel. Extend the left arm forward. Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow, left elbow to your ribs. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, extend, hold it here, bend that right knee, grip hold of your foot, kick away from your body. If you lift your right knee and thigh, take your gaze forward. Breathe. If you come up to those right fingertips, shoulders still over wrist. Find one more inhale. Take your exhale, bring the palm down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, left hand down, curl the left toes under, three-legged dog. Level up your hips, right toes face down, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right knee to your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, hold it, and then bring that right foot between your hands. Find that low lunge. Knee over your ankle. You're on your fingertips. Take your gaze forward. Sink the hips down. Inhale here. Exhale, release your left knee down. Flatten out your foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend those elbows. Hold it here. Take your gaze up. Breathe. Inhale, open up those arms. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Right arm over the left, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite arm. Inhale, lift. Hold it here. Interlock your ten fingers behind your back. Draw your knuckles down towards the mat. Take your back bend. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. Make sure that right knee is still over your ankle. Inhale here. Exhale here. Find another inhale. Exhale, frame out that right foot. Find that half split. Lengthen over that right leg. <clears throat> Flex that right foot. Shoulders away from the ears. If you have those blocks, you can use those blocks right now. And lengthen. Whichever works for you, listen to your body. Find one more breath. 
Inhale, re-bend into your knee. Press the palms down, throw the back toes under. Step back to your plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees down, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing dog. Hold it here once again. Shoulders press down, heart lifts. Breathe. Close your eyes, feel that breath. Here's up another inhale. Exhale, lower the knees down, chest lowers down. Inhale, child's pose, sit bones back. That's staying here long. Inhale, find that tabletop once again. Extend that left leg directly behind you. Level off your hips, right arm forward. Inhale here, exhale, left knee to your left elbow, right elbow to the ribs. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale here one more time. Exhale. Inhale, hold that extension, bend that left knee, reach around, grip hold of your foot, kick away from your body, take your gaze forward. Maybe come up to the fingertips of that left hand. Feel your heart lifting, lift your knee and your thigh even higher. One more breath. And then inhale, extend. Exhale, right hand down, curl the right toes under, three-legged dog. Level off your hips, left toes face down. Lift that left leg higher. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, lift that leg high. Exhale, bring your left knee to your left wrist. Hold it here to your elbow, to your shoulder. Hold it there. And then bring that foot right between your hands. Find that low lunge. Knee over ankle. Back heel is lifting. Sink your hips low. Lift your chest. Find one more inhale. Take your exhale, release the right knee down, flatten out your foot. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink down. Feel the stretch in front of your torso. Relax those left toes, relax your shoulders. We get used to having shoulders up by our ears. Press them down. Open up your arms, inhale here. Exhale, left elbow over that right. Give yourself a hug, chin to your chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, opposite. Inhale, lift. Hold it here until out your ten fingers behind your back, draw your knuckles down. Breathe. Feel the opening of the heart. Relax your face. So you give yourself an intense smile and then relax your face. Find another inhale. Take your exhale. And inhale once again. Exhale, release the hands from out the foot. Find that half split. Your left leg is straight. Flex your left toes. If you use those blocks once again on the side of the foot, breathe. One more breath. We got this. Then inhale, re-bend into the knee. Press the palms down, step back to your plank. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower down or find that chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, take your back bend of your choice, heart lifts. Exhale, roll over those toes, down dog. Let's do that again. Inhale forward, find your plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale. Find that down dog, and you have that option to skip all of that and just meet right here. Find three breaths in your down dog. Lift your sit bones high. Let's inhale, lift our heels up, actually. Exhale, take both heels over to the right side. And then inhale, back through center. Exhale, both heels to the left side, feeling a stretch in the upper body. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, draw those heels down. Keep pressing your palms down and slowly begin to walk your feet forward. Feel the connection of each foot into your mat. When you get to the top of your mat, bring your feet hips distance apart, measure two fists width, inhale, lengthen, look forward, fingertips stay on the mat, or maybe you're coming with your hands come to your shins. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana, nose to your knees. Inhale, reach both arms up. Reach, reach, reach. Touch the ceiling. 
Exhale, forward fully with the heart, flat back, nose to your knees. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Let's bend those knees so much we find the connection of the abdomen to your thighs. So much your torso is parallel to your mat. Reach those arms forward, sit bones back. Your gaze is down, shoulders away from the ears. Don't hold the breath. Don't squeeze the shoulders up by the ears, press them away from the ears. And then interlock your 10 fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest up, so you're in that chair pose. And exhale, forward fold, straighten those legs. Reach those knuckles up towards the ceiling. Any shoulder issues, of course, reach up or just release your arms down. Remember, you're still listening to your body. Very important. Find one more inhale. Exhale, take your full. Release your hands in front of your feet. That means a bakasana, your crow pose. Spread those fingers wide, looking forward. Don't look down. Feet behind your hands. Lift your heels, knees into your armpits. Hold it here. Maybe one foot lifts. Maybe the other foot lifts. Keeping your balance. Breathe. If you jump those legs back, find your chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. And I lift that right leg high. Exhale, bring that right knee to the right elbow. Right shoulder. Left elbow. Left shoulder. Fall on triangle, extend the leg out, reach that left arm up. Breathe. Find one more inhale. Exhale, release that hand down. Three-legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Hold it there. Find that low lunge. Find pyramid pose, straighten that right leg. Maybe use those blocks. Lengthen over your leg. Breathe. Look at that right leg, it's straight. Feel the stretch in the back of your leg. Press the ball of your right foot down, lift your toes up. Lengthen more, inhale. Exhale, take it forward. Don't let the shoulders fall down. Press them away from your ears. Find one more breath. Inhale, re-bend into your knee. Bring the blocks in front if you have blocks. Finding a warrior three. Level off those hips. Left foot is facing down. Left hip, hip is facing down. Take the arms by your sides. Let your palms press up. Breathe. Hold it here. Don't hold the breath. It's only a balance. If you're wobbly, it's all good. And then inhale. Bring that knee towards your chest. Flex that left foot. Relax your shoulders. Breathe. Coming into your eagle pose. Oh my goodness, so wrap your left leg over that right leg. Left arm under that right arm. Shoulders over hips, knees over, elbows over knees. Find one more breath. Inhale, reach all the way up, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, forward fold all the way down, nose to your knees. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen to prepare. Exhale, jump back to chaturanga. Step back, lower down. Take it to your flow, or just find your down dog. Hold it here for three breaths. Allow your sit bones to lift. And allow the shoulders to press away from the ears. Give yourself an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And I lift that left leg up. Exhale, bring your knee to your left wrist, elbow, shoulder. And I lift that leg high. Exhale, bring that knee to your right wrist, right elbow, shoulder. Hold it here, extend the leg out. Full on triangle. 
Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, release that hand down, three-legged dog. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Find that low lunge. Knee over ankle. Find that pyramid pose. Here we go. Stay here. Pressing the ball, that left foot down. Lift your toes up, lengthen your spine. If your fingers are on your mat, press the shoulders away and then keep lengthening forward. Breathe. Find one more breath. And have we bend into the knee. If you take those blocks forward, find that warrior three. Level off your hips, right heel presses behind you. Toes face down. Your torso and back leg are parallel to your mat. Maybe your hands are to prayer heart center. Maybe by your side, maybe interlock your 10 fingers behind your back, your choice. But breathe, if you're wobbly, it's okay, but slowly begin to bring the right knee into your chest. Reach up. Keep pressing down to the ball, that big left toe, we tend to roll to the outside of that grounded foot. Here we find that eagle pose, wrap the right leg over your left, right arm under the left arm. Shoulders over hips, elbows over knees. Take that seat lower. Breathe. Maybe just smile, make it intense. One more breath. Then inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Nose to your knees. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Take that ragdoll pose. Measure two fists with between the feet. Bend your knees. Grab opposite hand to elbow and hang. Allow your entire body to release. Allow your head to sway. Let go. Your shoulders fall down. Give yourself a big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And then release those hands down. Heel toe your feet even wider. Take malasana, find your squat. Allow your palms to connect. If it's too much, don't worry. Two blocks. Sit down. Take one block. Maybe take no blocks. And you're here wherever your body allows you to go. Find that place. Remember, it's about listening to your body. Listen to what, you're, what you hear in this moment. Whether it's the sound from a distance, it's your body talking to you, whatever it is. So as you're here, feel the heart lifting, shoulders pressed down, find a slight arch in your back. Maybe take that twist, so bring that right hand down, left arm up. Keep the weight even in both feet. Stay here, take a bind. Stay here or take a balance. Left foot presses down and you lift up. You fall out of it, get back in. Breathe. Slowly begin to reverse out, go slower. And we meet, hands to prayer at heart center. Give yourself an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let it go. One more time. Strong inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Take it to the other side. Left arm down, right arm up. Stay here. Take your bind. Take your balance. Take it to where you can go. Breathe. If you're taking that balance, that right foot comes in. Press it down as you lift. Falls out, get it right back there, and lift up. Breathe. Slowly begin to reverse. Close your eyes, feel your breath. And maybe this pose isn't as comfortable as you want it to be. See if we can just use the breath to get ourselves past that. 
Whatever is challenging, let's get ourselves past that. Find one more breath. And then bring your palms down, step back to your plank. Hold it here. Spread those fingers wide. Maybe move it slightly forward and back. But don't collapse in the hips, don't lift the butt up. Find that balance right in between. Check in with your breath wherever you are. And then bring that right knee to the right elbow. And have three legged dog or right leg lifts. Bend the knee, open up your hip. You can stay here or flip yourself over. Lift the hips, lift the chest, drop the head back. Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, flip yourself back over, three-legged dog, right leg lifts high. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose. Find that high lunge, foot right between your hands, knee over ankle reach. Let's take that twist, hands to prayer, heart center. Left elbow, right knee. Push your top hand to your bottom hand. Options here, you can stay right here. You can bring the back knee down. You can open up your arms. Half bind, full bind. Take your gaze up. Breathe. Maybe take a side balance. Find one more breath. Inhale, open up to that peaceful warrior. Right arm up, left arm down, that back leg. Hold it here. Right heel biceps, left arch, right knee over ankle. The knee wants to go in. Keep drawing it towards that pinky toe. As we're here. Hips are side by side. And reach. Straighten that right arm. Feel the stretch on the right side. Lift that left palm. Maybe you grab hold of that right wrist. Gently lift up and take yourself deeper. And then inhale, straighten that front leg. Hold it here. Both palms face up. And then let that left palm face down above that right palm. Press down into your feet. Find one more breath. Engage that core. Really feel your core working. Keep opening up that left hip. Inhale, peaceful triangle. Lift that right hip up. Right arm up, left arm down that back leg. Inhale, bring yourself up. Bring both feet parallel to one another. Inhale, lift your chest. And on your exhale, find that wide leg forward fold. Grip hold of the outsides of your feet, your ankles, your shins. Give yourself that inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Press those shoulders up away from the ears. Find one more breath. Release your hands down. Bend that right knee even more. Find that active lizard. Take yourself to the top of your mat. So right knee is over your ankle. Your palms are pressing down. Stay on your hands or come down to your forearms. Stay here. Close your eyes. Feel your breath. Make sure that right knee doesn't splay out. Options here, you can stay here. You can bring that left knee down. Gently press that right thigh open. Maybe bend your left knee, reach around, grip hold of your foot, and kick away from your body. Look over that right shoulder. One more breath. And then releasing that foot. Bring your hands back down. Step back to your plank. Inhale here. Your choice. Take your flow. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Or exhale, just find that down dog. Inhale forward to your plank. Here we are again. Can you breathe? Can you find a strong inhale, slow, calm exhale? Bring that left knee to your left elbow, hold it. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts high, bend that knee, open up your hip. Flip yourself over if that's an option on the side. 
Find one more inhale. Exhale, flip yourself back over, three-legged dog, left leg lifts high, inhale, exhale, knee to your nose, find that high lunge, knee over your ankle, reach those arms up. You can stay here, we always have options, hands to prayer, heart center, take that twist, right elbow, left knee. Back knee can be down, you can do everything else here with the back knee down, open the arms, take your bind, look over your shoulder. Or do that with the back knee up. Breathe. Keep drawing those right ribs to the inside of your left thigh. Keep pressing your shoulders away from the ears. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. One more breath. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Open up. Right arm down, left arm up. Let your left heel bisect that right arch. Left knee over the ankle, knee towards the pinky toe. Hips side by side, feel the stretch on the left side, reach. If you grip hold of that left wrist, lift and lengthen, take that side stretch. Inhale, straighten that left leg, reach the arms out, palms stay up. Reach, reach, reach. Let that right palm face that left palm, look over that right shoulder. Keep lifting your chest. Breathe. This time, inhale, lift yourself up. Bring both feet parallel. Exhale, forward fold. All the way down. While you're here, feel the stretch in the back of your legs. If you need to lock your 10 fingers behind the back, draw your knuckles up towards the ceiling. Shoulders press away from your ears. Breathe, one more breath. Release those hands down. Lengthen your spine, just bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Bend that right knee. Bend that left knee, keep it bending. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. Find that active lizard once again. Palms press down, knee over ankle. Stay here, come down to those forearms. You can stay here or continue to take it further. Maybe the right knee comes down. Open up that hip. Stay here, bend the right knee, reach around, grip hold of that right foot and kick away from your body. Look over that left shoulder, no pain. You'll feel a stretch. When you feel that intense stretch, don't tense the face, relax the face. You would just say, this feels awesome. Breathe, one more breath. And then release that foot. Press those palms down, step back to your plank. Give yourself an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Give yourself another inhale. Exhale, find that down dog. Take one more flow, chaturanga. And he'll take your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Find your child's pose. Knees down, sit bones to your heels, reach forward. Let everything go. Think about your dedication, your intentions. And most importantly, check in with that breath once again. And listen to what you hear inside. Press your chin towards your chest, your fingertips by the sides of your knees, your hips and head around all the way up. Let your head lift up last. And bring those legs out in front. Let's take that right knee into your chest. Place that right foot down. And actually, you find Marichyasana A. So measure your fist with inhale, reach both arms forward, lengthen over that leg. Don't collapse. Hold on to your shin, your foot, or take that bind around. Keep reaching your chest towards that foot. Breathe. Close your eyes, feel your breath. Find one more breath. 
and then slowly begin to bring yourself out. Let's take a twist here. Bring that right knee, actually right knee over your left knee. Flex both feet. If it's too intense, bring the right ankle. Actually, bring the right knee over your left knee. If too intense, bring the right foot to the outside of your left knee. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center, your knee over knee. Take a twist, left elbow to the top of that right knee. Flexing both feet, look over that right shoulder. Press your shoulders down. Feel your twist from the lower torso all the way up towards your eyes. If you have that foot pressing down, you're holding your right knee with that left arm, right hand by your tailbone. Look over that right shoulder. One more breath. Take it to your deepest twist right here and now. And then slowly begin to reverse out. Extend that leg out. Bring that left knee in. Measure your fist width. And have it reach those arms up. Exhale, lengthen forward. Stay here. Don't let the knee open. Keep it towards the shoulder. Hold on to your foot, ankle, shin, or take your bind. Keep reaching your chest towards that right shin, towards your foot. Close your eyes and be present right here. Find one more breath. And slowly begin to bring yourself out. Let's take that twist, either knee over knee, or bring that foot to the side of that right knee. Bring your hands to prayer, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, right elbow, left knee, look over your left shoulder. If you have the other option, press the foot down, flex the right foot, hold the knee, left hand by your tailbone, look over that left shoulder. We find one more breath right here, and now take it to your deepest twist. And slowly bring yourself forward, extend that left leg out. Make sure you're sitting at the center of your mat. Bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself this wonderful, deserving hug. Forehead to your knees. Squeeze your legs. Give yourself some thanks. And then inhale, reach up, reach out. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. As you open up, let your feet be the entire width of your mat. Let your arms extend out by your side to that final pose of Shavasana. Give yourself an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let it go. Just allowing yourself to be right here and now. Feel the connection of your entire back body into your mat. Feeling every muscle release and let go. Let every thought just disappear. As you feel yourself just being in this present moment for you. As you feel your inhale entering the body. As you feel your exhale letting go of all that you don't need. Just allow yourself this time and this place to release and let go, to hear your inhale, to hear your exhale. Again, hear your inhale, hear your exhale. Feel your inhale, feel your exhale. 
and just find that place of freedom where there is no tension, stress, or judgment. Just being here and now for you. And without moving your body, just slowly begin to deepen your breath. Begin to bring yourself back into awareness. Now finding that place of movement in your toes, ankles, fingers, wrists, legs, and arms. Bring your legs together, your arms overhead. Give yourself a nice long stretch. Take it longer. And then bring those knees into your chest, wrap those arms around your legs. Give yourself that wonderful deserving hug. Give yourself that squeeze. Some kind, positive words, some thanks. Maybe those words of, I love myself. I am awesome. And just say that over and over again, because you are. And slowly bring yourself over to the right side to support your head with that right arm if needed. As you find Garbhasana, your fetal pose, hold it here, embracing all that you are from every breath, movement, and heartbeat taken. Slowly and gently bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your left hand to your heart, your right hand on top. Close your eyes, feel that heart lifting, and feel what you have beneath your hands. Give yourself an inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Let it go one more time. Strong inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Please remember the vibration of an ohm. Let's inhale. Aum. Bring your chin to your chest. Always find that place of peace, love, happiness, kindness, goodness, respect. So much more. Just let that shine out to all. And hinging forward to seal your practice, give yourself that intense, wonderful, beautiful smile. You are beautiful. And you have that smile, so share it with others when you leave your mat. Have a great rest of your day, your night, days ahead. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Always a pleasure. Any questions, don't hesitate to write. And until next time, see you soon.